Oh boy, okay, here goes, here goes. Welcome back to New Soccer Wars, I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, here with the Niskel. Holy crap, why is this episode so long? We have a lot to do today, my friend. Okay. This is going to be a uh, super jam-packed episode full of many things. First of all, we got a few side things to take care of. First of all, the notebook that we found earlier from Claris. Wait, didn't we already finish this subplot, or did we just, like, find it last time? We found it. Okay. The only real real uh, side stuff we have with Claris is that she writes something embarrassing and alluding to how awesome and cool we are, and she has a crush on us. And then we're like, here's your notebook back, and she's like, what? I, oh, why did you read it? I'm so embarrassed. See, I thought it was like her manifesto, and that's why she didn't want anybody to see it. <laughs> oh, no. If I take them out one by one in their sleep, they'll never see it coming. I shall do it for the greatness of the games. Then why did you write it then? Maybe I wasn't too far off with the manifesto, because, you know, maybe she had a change of heart when she met you, and she was like, you know what, maybe the combat review isn't so bad. And then she's just like, I won't kill them in their sleep. Yes, let's adapt your embarrassing stories for the stage. <laughs> uh, the two main characters fall in love, the end. Oh, that was a fast play. What if we made Sakura the lead? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Let's uh, let's adapt it right away. I'll start tonight. I feel so violated. Wait, I just read that. What? Well, whatever. I mean, unless she's writing, like, very explicit stuff, I don't think she should be that embarrassed about it. In fact, if she was secretly, like, a horn dog, I think, I think that would be really funny. You could play that for laughs easily, but they don't do anything with it. They don't do a lot of things with these characters. It's so frustrating. <laughs> yes, I am thinking if Claris was a Toko Fukawa, <laughs> it would be perfect. Like, I don't even like Danganronpa. I'll take some of those characters over these guys. I mean, they're not all winners, but there are some really good characters in Danganronpa. Even the not-so-winners will be better than some of the people in here. What's up? I'm your main character, Hajime. My only character trait is that I'm plain. Yeah! Just like the other guy whose trait is that he was really plain. Hey, yeah. I'm still better hey. than Makoto. Yeah! Hey, yeah. Yeah, we still gotta bring Sakura into this, but whatever. Yeah. What if Sakura were air? Just breathe in that Sakura. We can't live without Sakura. So okay. now it's time for Azami's tete a tete. Yeah. I, I know was... what you're thinking. She's like mm. 13. How are we gonna have a tete a tete event with a teenager? Why no? We why don't we just you know? Just I, I don't know, give her a high five. A nice handshake. You know, fist bump. So oh, the, there's the manju- Finally! The manju has been rendered! <gasps> oh, it's too bad this is a, a matte painting, basically. Okay, uh -huh. I'll look in your dresser. Does somebody have fuzzy cat socks? There's nothing in here. Oh. That's because it's hidden. Ninja training. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. Why isn't her room barren? 
Uh, a zombie, where's all your stuff? Oh, hidden, like a ninja. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Kamiyama gets hit from a dresser from the sky. <laughs> just looking around the room, really. Can I, can I just say, on semi-related note, but very off-topic, I'm really glad Ninja Gaiden is coming to the Switch. Yeah, you know... <laughs> I missed it. That's that's a game where things happen. I like I like games like that. Actually, I was reading a comment on the reveal trailer, and uh, they they pretty much nailed it home. They said before there was Dark Souls hard, there was Ninja Gaiden hard. Oh, that's right. See, the first Ninja Gaiden I thought was like stupidly hard. I hated it. The mm -hmm. second one was you know appropriately hard, but still really dumb sometimes. And the third one was too easy. Now the second one had like weird difficulty spikes. Like it, it was. Oh, it did. It was a lot more gory, just you know, for funsies. But uh, I felt like I could play Ninja Gaiden too. I think the time I stopped playing Ninja Gaiden Black was uh, when I entered a room trying to figure out where the fuck to go, and I got hit by six shurikens off screen. Yeah, that's the part that kills me. Is the it's off like, screen nope. shit? Done. Done. Uh -uh. Out of, out of my console, never to come back. Haven't played it in 15 years. Nope. See, I got decently far in uh, in Ninja Gaiden Black, and then for some reason I stopped. I wonder what that was. Like, actual walking on the ceiling? I'm walking on ceilings. Wow. Ooh, what a feeling when I'm walking on the ceiling. Might as well be walking on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess sun works better for that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like walking on the sun. All right, time for a test. Cool. Uh, it's A. How many shurikens do ninjas throw simultaneously when practicing? Uh, shurikens, I would assume one. No way! Five! No. Pay attention, man! She told you all these things! She's testing you now! Oh, God! She was talking about Ninja Gaiden, and now... You got, oh, oh, what are you gonna do now? You gotta pay attention, man! Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right, what's the vital ninja tongue twister? Ninja jamming mid jar to jam. The uh, jam in a jar, I mean. Ninja jamming mint jam in a jar. No ninny ninjas never negotiate. I'm in your face. Poof! Where'd she go? Ah. Oh my god! She transported to Goemon's Great Adventure! We look at the Manju. What? Uh, she's in the ceiling! Is she in my heart? Undefeated, huh? We'll see about that. For I have a surefire way to, for you to reveal yourself willingly to me. Hmm. Time to force her to reveal herself. Hmm, these manju sure are delicious. Good call! That's the answer. What if I licked every manju? Would you want them then, Azami? Uh, uh, eh! There she is. Ah, ah, ha, ha. I got you! <laughs> I didn't even see that at first. 
All right, that was that was a fun moment. That was that was kind of fun. Hmm. It's something different. Yeah, it's something different. It's not revolving back to Sakura at any moment or any time. You shouldn't have said that, because now she's going to be like, You know, Sakura likes Manchu. Ah! <laughs> Alright, you watch those hands of yours now, mister, because we're getting to the close-up part of the tete-a-tete. -tete. You know what? Good for you, kiddo. You're great. God. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, you, I can't. You, there was one anime I, I can't remember which one it was, where the guy asked, you know, the girl and guy got really close to each other's face, and then the guy just like, basically like whacked her on the forehead just to push her back. Oh God, which one was that? Aho girl. I don't. Oh, maybe. Hmm. But yeah, you, 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 you good kid. You, uh, you, you, you all right. Uh, 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 Look into my eyes, Kamiyama. Cold eyes? I'm not, I'm not that cold. I, uh, you, you have, you have kind eyes. Kind eyes. Full of concern for the good of the people. That's why you're in the review, right? It's because you want to help people. As a ninja. Because you're cool and badass, right? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! You're here for a selfless reason that's bigger than yourself, compared to Sakura's, who's just here to be like her favorite character, Sakura Shinguji! <laughs> Smooth and pinchable! I don't want to pinch it to me, just... <laughs> you, you know oh. what else is smooth and pinchable, Kamiyama? Silly putty. <laughs> That's what I call my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my ass. It's so, it's so wriggly like silly putty. I don't want, like, how are we going to reward her? I don't like where this is going. Like, hey, do you want to go out for dinner maybe? Or just how about some more fucking manju? Because that's all you're about. Stuff her full of sweets. Uh, uh, yeah, they just uh, flick it in there. There you go. There you go. Like, like, what do you like to eat? Do you like to eat kalbi? Do you like to eat uh, wagyu pork? Do you, like, do you like to have ramen? Hamburgers? What kind of food do you like besides manju? Only the most expensive cut of beef. Oh, really? Let's see. Let's check how much money I've got. Oh yeah, none. Eh, what? Uh, well, uh, that's for getting a tete-a-tete -tete with all the members of the review, which we have done. We have? Yeah. Wait, let me think. Oh yeah, we have. Duh. Okay. We cool. got everybody. Yep. A scroll so for Seijiro. Uh, Thank you, Seijiro. Let's do ninja training to get together again sometime. Hell yeah! I promise to make an amazing ninja out of you. That would be fucking awesome. It's Depen like a, you know, your your occupation changes depending on what girl you end up with. I was just thinking a a job class change. Kamiyama the ninja. Well, part of the reason why this is taking so long is uh, the first part of this is uh, Azumi's tete a tete, which I've, mm -hmm. you know we've, we've finished. But now the rest of it is going to be the second round of the <gasps> combat review games. All right, it's time to meet up with my boy Arthur and completely destroy Lancelot. <laughs> and their mysterious third person. <laughs> Ready on standby, Captain! I am also here. Let us do it. Like, they didn't even render, like, you know, some generic dude. It's He's just... third guy. Well, if we're going by Arthurian legend, who would be the third person in this supposed duo? Merlin! 
That makes too much sense. She'd be like, you know, a, 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 like a mage girl or whatever. Yeah, they, they'd have a field day with that. You kidding me? Well, UDJ, magic should not exist. I mean, just, just look at Claris. Yeah, but just think about it. You know, uh, Lancelot's getting all excited and she's clutching her fist. She's like, all right, I can't wait to start fucking fighting people. And then Merlin just bonks her on the head with her gigantic staff. And just, easy now. We've got about ten more minutes till the match starts. Just relax. I feel like Merlin would also be constantly reading, like, spell books and stuff. Just, you know, always obtaining knowledge. But then again, we already have a bookworm. Wouldn't it be great if the third members of their team were actually just members of the Imperial Combat Review and we had to defeat the, the other combat reviews in order to recruit them into our combat reviews? That would... Convince them that... Convince Actually them that our awesome. way is better than their flawed ways. Yeah, you know? yeah. That would be cool. That'd be that'd be good. I would I would enjoy that. Or you know, after the other combat reviews disband and they have to join yours, being able to recruit other people that seem like a decent match for those combat reviews and sending them out on separate missions. It'd be a story about a growing family, you know? Yeah, the biggest and bestest combat review while we go and and free all the other people from the blackness of deep space. By the way, Sucker is here. Hey! Last, last fucking second because she's such a great character. I fucking called it like three episodes ago. Yeah. Wow. We did it. Fuck. I don't know why it took her this long to realize that maybe I should fight, but, you know, whatever. Just in time for you to not use her in this fight. Oh, uh, that's the thing, my friend. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> oh, come on! Remember Dude, how in the first round where we could fuck. choose our two members? Now Sakura has pushed herself into our team <laughs> because she and Lancelot have to fight. Oh, come on. Having it has beef. to, no, it has oh, to be oh, Sakura. No other option. It has to be Sakura. You could choose the third person, though. Not like it fucking matters. Well, let's, let's get some affinity points. Don't say any of our other teammates don't matter. Although I am curious, who is your third member going to be? Oh, I'm glad you're back, Sakura. I'm so glad you're back. It took you forever. We worried that you weren't going to show up, but you showed up at the last second. You should have showed up, like, last night, so we didn't have to, like, worry about that. I mean... Registration's already taken care of, and you're gonna have to go back to the kiosk to sign back up again, and that's not gonna be enough time, so uh, I guess you're sitting out this round. Well, let's check our, uh, our yes. team status then in the meantime. Yes. How are we doing? Is everybody nice and happy? No. Oh, oh! Anastasia was jumping around. I thought she was moving up. I think everybody's at full front now. Okay. I think everybody's maxed out. For now, or like forever? I think forever. Really? I think that I think the only thing we can change now is their affection towards me. It has to do with a little symbol that's next to them. If it's if it's higher, then their morale is higher. If it's lower, then the morale is lower. I think that's what it's tied to. Okay. And in terms I, of trust, everybody everybody loves me. I saw a couple different symbols. Is the I assume the little pink symbol is like affection and. You know, the, the little star symbols, like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, if you mess up too much, they can look sad and be like, man, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> so my idea of having the portraits in our command room getting progressively sadder is a reality in one way. <laughs> See, sort of. The Sakura series prototype. Yes. Of course. Well, I was just thinking of, like, the Sakura series prototype games. Hmm. What if this was... Actually, what if this game was an early access Sakura Wars game? Like, it, this game will be updated in, like, three years. This is all hypothetical, by the way. This game will be updated in three years. This is just, like, the first draft. Well, uh, it's kind of sad they sent their first draft as the final copy. Yeah, well, <sighs> because Sega I mean, makes weird decisions. Let, let's let's just uh, praise Sakura some more. She's gonna be using a special 
uh, you know, uh, her, her suit, which was so powerful that nobody could even wield it properly. Not even Sakura Shinguji. So Sakura Mamiya is incredible! Hey, my uh, eyes are glazing over. I'm rolling back my head. Give me something to talk about, man. Okay. Uh, then uh, what do you think the writing room looked like? Because I have a feeling it's a lot of, like, clumps of paper just all over the ground and a dartboard with a bunch of ideas. I don't think the problem is uh, how many people were in the writer's room or, or uh, what they were doing in there. It's how long they were in there. I bet they were in there for like two hours and just shit together a fucking story and then this this whole thing feels really rushed and just unprofessional. And see, that's the weird thing. This, uh, and I believe we've talked about this before, this has the polish of like a game that took many years to make. The backgrounds then, do, at least. Well, yeah, the art design is on point for most aspects of the game. So, Sakura is, once again, forced onto our team. No choice involved in that, so we gotta pick the third slot for somebody else. Uh, I'm gonna make a one of my Niskeldamus predictions and th and think that you know the the battle's gonna go perfectly fine until Lancelot just wants to kill a bitch and then through the power of friendship we overpower Lancelot and defeat the England Combat Review. It's a bit more eye rolling than that, but it's about right. I hate this. <laughs> like why is why is Sakura forced on our team? It's clear she doesn't want to be seen as a soldier. It's clear she doesn't she doesn't want to be used. It's clear she wants to have some agency over her life. So I mean. Whatever, Maybe it's for the lulls at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it, it feels like, from from here on out, it feels like they're fucking trolling me. Yeah, you hear that UDJ guy? Yeah, I hear he wants a new Sakura Wars game. Does he want good do? writing? No fucking way. <laughs> no fucking way. No fucking way. Let's go ahead and make him a game. It's so fucking terrible. He'll have no choice but to tear out all that gorgeous hair. Let's take out all these cliches and then have 14-year-olds rewrite them. <laughs> hey, well, what's that you got there in the script? Oh, a well, good idea? Nah, redact that shit. Do it again, but worse. How do you, how do you turn that idea and make it bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Character development? Nah, man. Throw in the trash. Flower Division, move out! It's kind of sad when Kamiyama has little to no personality, but by comparison, he has more personality than the rest of his combat review. His personality stinks, too. And I think the worst part is, you create his personality through your actions. So, I can tell when you're trying to make him, like, a decent human, but it just does not work. It, it just, he doesn't do what I tell him! <laughs> Or, he, t or he, he takes what I'm trying to tell him, and he misconstrues as something awful. Hey, hey, we, we got dialogue options that make sense? Nah, throw him carved balls every single time. You're trying to be nice? Nah, we're going to make you a scumbag! Nah, 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 you ever hear of that game Mass Effect 2? Ah, it's perfect. How about every decision <laughs> hates the disingenuous assertions? <laughs> I would like to punch Sucker in the face, though. That'd be nice. <laughs> Oh, oh you're gonna lose points with her! Good! <laughs> oh, darn it! Did we already talk about the idea of having, like, an asshole ending? Like, what happens if you strike out with literally everyone? I don't know if we did. Alright! So, the second round of the games is beginning. Oh, uh, well, not yet. we still got some more talking to do and blah, blah, blahing. And, oh, we were prepared for this. And it's going to be a great fight. And hubby, 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 hubby. There are a few differences. Uh, first of all, enemy placement. They've uh, added a few more enemy types and all that. So mm -hmm. it's not quite the same as the first round, obviously. 
Second of all, these guys are, as you could imagine, better than the Shanghai Review. I'm liking that Excalibur. Hey, wait a minute, don't, don't just, like, overlook Merlin. Come on, give her an introduction. She's shy. You know, we're creating a really good character. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, just my own if, personal opinion. If only Sega would have made it, too. Like, now that I'm thinking of the Shanghai Combat Review, what could their third person be? Like, can we make a character to add to the Shanghai Combat Review? It's a really unflattering depiction of an Asian person, and they're like, Yeah, let's, let's bin that one. Well, I mean, if you had to make a... Uh, yeah, no, a, a decent anime character that got it. had to go along with Shanghai. Got it. What you got? The Chinese doctor from Sakura Wars 5. Ooh, there Left you go. New York, made his way to Tokyo. It's part of the, of, of the review now. Okay. That'd be a cameo that would be unexpected, but welcome. What was his personality? I, I don't remember. He yeah, was a pretty, pretty neat guy, you know. Helpful, always had medicines and all that. See, I'm trying to think of characters that could be introduced in my lovely new Soccer Wars fan fiction, where uh, everybody will enjoy that instead of the genuine article. And I just want to make sure that all of the uh, all the personalities mesh well. Don't think it would really match uh, Shaolin's dickish attitude, though, but maybe he disapproves as like a father would, but he wouldn't do anything because he has to learn his own way. He is the leader, after all. He is the captain. I have to respect my captain's duty and, and his wishes. And oh, it turns out that your haughty behavior has gotten our team eliminated. Well, live and learn, right? Yeah, I'm just thinking. It's, Ooh, it, golden. If, oh my god, you just won by default. <laughs> No, I, I, I could see, I could see Doctor Man just like he, he kind of has like the eye roll thing, but you know he still respects his captain enough. He he does know his captain is a, a little hot headed, so you know he takes it in stride. So another thing about uh, Sakura here, she can't use her special attack, and why not? Plot reasons. Okay, we'll save that for when she has to fight Lancelot mano a mano. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, uh, let's see. Personality type for Merlin, very, uh, very shy. I like that idea, but she's, like, wicked good in a mech. As for the Berlin comment review, their third person, I, I think, would be, like, uh, a dude. Mm-hmm. But uh, he's he doesn't really take the spotlight too much. He's he's kind of there, you know, supporting, you know. Fa fans try to drift, tr try to you know flock them, and he has a strong arm that pushes them back. He's very tall, very oh. very, very stoic. Okay, yes. If he was like okay, so let's say the Berlin Combat Review. They're th those are pretty short girls, so I'd say they're about five foot even, maybe just a tad shorter. At least he's taller like, than Margareth is. Yes, and uh, it, we got this, you know, almost butler type guy, and personality-wise, you know, he's their quote-unquote protector, but he's more like, you know, hey, the the crowds are coming in, let's let's take this back door, and uh, I could see him being at least six feet tall. He's the one who uh, takes the orders. He's the one who uh, you know gives like directives. It's like, uh, ladies, yeah, yeah. it appears it appears that there is a demon attack in Ginza. We should make our way down there and and uh, lead our assists. I can actually see him being like somewhat of uh, who is it, Sebastian from Black Butler? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can see that happening. Then turns out he's actually a demon. Okay. Even better. <laughs> wow! Look at that. We're just. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually having fun with this. <laughs> I know, right? Just all the all the character development that we can give to other characters instead of just giving it to Sakura. Damn it! Ah, oh, well, you're still doing really good. Where'd they go? We got a minute left. All right, we'll take out these guys then. We didn't even get to see the other combat reviews that England oh, defeated, uh -oh. right? Oh no, we didn't. 
Well, why, if, while we're at it, why not give them some personality? All right, uh, the Moscow Combat Review. Okay. Uh, oh no! Oh no! They they got a big kill somewhere. Oh shit! This well, ain't good. Take take these guys out quick. Yes. Just get us back on the other side. You got plenty of time. I, I don't have plenty of time. I have 30 seconds. Well, that's, that's still... As long as you are still over half, Where are they getting fine. all these points from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is happening? What are they doing? Oh, big guy. Big guy, let's, get him. Let's get this big guy. Yeah. Kill steal. Kill steal. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Ah! They kill steeled me when I was trying to kill steal them. No! They won that round. Oh, I feel cheated. I feel absolutely cheated. Oh, Bullshit. Dear. I don't fucking think so. These motherfuckers are gonna pay. And you know that was totally Merlin who kill stealed from you. Totally. The tactician just going, yes, take so, that one down. I'm just mashing X like, oh, give, give me back in there. Give me back in there. I'll kill him. I'll murderize him. Let me at him, let me at him. Come, come on, just, just get through all the dialogue, come on. So this is where I uh, crack my neck, I lean forward in my chair, I grip the controller tightly, and I go to town. It's like, I'm not gonna, you... I, it's like I'm, there's no fucking way I'm gonna let them humiliate me like this. I'll do that myself, see, thank you. See that character archetype? I could totally see in the Moscow combat review. Yeah. There's and some, like s some unknown hotshot captain, very much like Kamiyama and Ogami, but mm -hmm. he just doesn't have the spotlight on him. Mm -hmm. He's the underdog to the underdogs. And you know, he, he's still got a long way to go. I mean, sure, he's just a tad cocky, but you know, he learns from his mistakes. And for some reason, I'm just... It, when you said Moscow, for some reason, I'm just thinking Emilia from Guilty Gear. I don't know, maybe it's the long hair. Yeah, maybe, maybe he wants to do more for his country, but his government won't let him. It's like, we need to help okay. the people in the city, and then uh, he gets, like, on call from, like, Stalin, saying, oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Is this anime Joseph Stalin we're talking about? <laughs> yeah, but, like, dark anime Joseph Stalin, where he's not, oh. like, you know, he's, he's not, like, you know, <laughs> cute, rounded Stalin. No, he's got, like, the dark eyes and the <laughs> hard-lined mustache. <laughs> Whenever you talk like, to, whenever you talk to him, everything is always dark around him, and the music takes a somber turn. <laughs> he's like a villain in any other anime, but for right now, he's just like a side character. <laughs> oh, kill steal, kill steal. And then it turns out the more that the, the more they do, the less Stalin believes in them. Oh. So that all their all their duties and delegations get kind of reduced. Oh man. Until, until eventually, the army is overtaking all the demon things, and he's just, you know, cleaning up afterwards. <gasps> and then that's, that's how he brings communism to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> with, the help, with the help of a plucky little guy named Lenin. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't it be great if you had the means of production? <laughs> Dude, if Soccer Wars gave me a history lesson while also having mech fights, I think that would be pretty awesome. Wouldn't that be great? Or at least a, 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 like, a culture history lesson? It's like, hey, check out this cool song from, like, 1942, you know? Actually, you know, I just had this spring of inspiration. Why couldn't we play as the other combat reviews that lost? You know, just to give them some time in the sun. Because that would require hiring more artists to make more characters, and they already made too many because they don't know what to do with their fucking story. Oh, well, we already made some in our minds. Like, I already have a visual imagery of Merlin. So check it. Ooh. Victory. Oh! There's a TKO option? If you get the If you get the bar all the way to the end, then you win the round automatically. That's cool. So I'm like, yeah, do, yeah. do that some more. Yeah, let's do that some more. I like doing that. So final round. 
You motherfuckers ain't gonna take me down. Fight. I've had Mortal Kombat on the brain for a while. It's because of the movie, right? Oh, absolutely. Because it actually looks semi-decent. But also, you know, I've, I've always been a fan of, like, the audio clips in the really old Mortal Kombat games. They sound so clean, even though they're extremely garbled and look and sound terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the nostalgia talking. Well, the fact that they understand that it's supposed to be an R-rated violence fest, I think we're, I think we're, it's going to be better than the '90s one. You know, '90s one. I imagine it's not going to impress critics. Like, oh, it's the story is bullshit, and the and the violence is over the top and gratuitous, mm -hmm. and everyone's like, yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, yeah. Th that's the thing I've. I've uh, understood to a point, like, uh, of course critics are going to say, oh, this this movie is just, like, uh, for example, the uh, the Godzilla films, the most recent ones, they're just like, oh, it's just mindless, you know, monsters fighting monsters, and everybody was like, uh, yeah, exactly what we Problem? want. Problem? Yeah, this is, this is not an issue. It's the same people that turn their nose up to the MCU films. It's just like, ugh. No, just Fine. have some fun with your superheroes. Those are the same people where, you know, any douchebag could put a camera on a guy just, you know, making soup in the cold for two hours, and it'll be like, oh, wonderful, best, best movie ever! Can you really feel the struggle of, of, of you know, being a farmer in these times, and having to make food for your family, and, you know, requiring so much effort for so little, though? Oh my god, the human condition is so great! Oh my god, ten out of ten, five stars, wonderful! And then you look at Ant-Man 2, and you're like, uh, whatever, it's just popcorn bullshit. It's like, all right, yeah, but I'm having, a, I'm having a more, I'm having a better time with Ant Man than I am with your stupid suit movie. See, that that's what I don't understand. Like, th these are popcorn flicks. Almost every film is made to be like enjoyed by a mass audience. You know, grab some popcorn, enjoy your time, and you know, critics don't understand that. But they're like fun. Who wants fun? Like, I, I don't remember how critics took to the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, but I really liked it. Oh, I loved it. It was great. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously it was made for kids because, you know, Sonic is made for kids. It's but they made it game. fun. It was. It's a really fun movie. Yeah. yeah. And of course you got Jim Carrey in there for the older crowd, and that, that did it for me, honestly. They, they had, like, some genuinely funny jokes in there and some good comedy and great timing. It was, it was, oh, yeah. It's, it's more than just a simple kids movie because Pixar movies are for kids, too, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. S somebody be a real uh, stickler for Pixar movies. Yeah, see how that, see how well that does. <laughs> I, I don't want to think of a of a reality like that. Over. Yes. Get Fantastic. Out of here, man. So yeah, soccer is here. And she's finally here. We go. Here we go. Oh my God! Here I we go. called it. Wow! Wow, Lancelot has like serial killer eyes. Yeah, she wants to kill. That's why she needs Merlin to cool her down, you know? Mm -hmm. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> it's, it's just us. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, I was like, oh, that's a good move, Kamiyama, and then immediately backfires. All right, take her down. Uh, it's not the time to talk about your stupid childhood the... promise. No. Oh, okay, so um. Ah. Hey, imagine that the the tomato meter says Sonic the Hedgehog was a 63, but the audience said it was a 93. Uh, I listen to the audience a bit more than the critics sometimes. No, oh, of course. See, biggest reason because on... the critic score is like okay. what a couple hundred people most and yeah. then uh, the, the audience is a couple hundred thousand so I'll go with the bigger sample size it took a few years but video game movies are now reaching quality I think it's because video games themselves have become more cinematic so it's easier to adapt them to movies I'd say there are definite influences from almost every Sonic game in Sonic the Hedgehog. 
And don't get me started on the references. They are so good. <laughs> So Lancelot's gonna kill Sakura. Let's just sit by and let it happen. Okay. Nope. Go get her. She's right there. She's right there. Standing there. Just still going. Monologue. It's still going. It's still going, the match. There we go. Alright, hey, there we go. <laughs> you sly dog! You caught me monologuing! <laughs> So Lancelot's really strong and we're really weak right now. This is more like an endurance test because Lancelot is overpowered it's because Sakura still doesn't believe enough! I will say the mission directive survive Lancelot's onslaught <laughs> is metal as hell. <laughs> but I'm but I'm great, so no problem here. <laughs> well, it's it's kind of evenly matched right now, so uh, let, let me see that amazing gamer skill. God, that move hurts so much. Yeah, it does. Uh, uh, there we go. You survive the onslaught! Alright, Merlin, let's go tackle our girl and bring her back. Maybe there were other characters in the combat reviews, but they decided to, uh, Alan Smithy themselves, if you catch my drift. That's sad, because I like the characters we came up with. They decided to disown all association they have with the project. It's just like, I'm not a part of this. I'm not fucking really. The voice actors credit themselves as different names. Blah, blah, it's no. my destiny to win, yada, yada, blah, 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 whatever. So I know Arthur in Arthurian legend is a king, but is this Arthur actually a king? I don't fucking know. A peasant who does not know his place. Dude, you're not coming to my kager later. How dare. Yeah, a peasant is nothing more. Now let's destroy his ass. <laughs> Take him down. But go easy on Merlin. You're just, you're just a peasant. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like has a pool of his own blood in his hands. <laughs> What's happening? Holy I... shit! Get fucking wrecked, scrub! <laughs> oh my god! Get absolutely destroyed! Yes, even... Fuck him up! God damn! Twenty and now seconds. He's gone. All right, who's left? Yeah, where's Merlin? Come here, you scrawny bitch. There's something special for you. <laughs> you know, if our actual character of Merlin actually came through, I feel she would know when to submit <laughs> and just go, I'm not doing this. I forfeit. I forfeit. And gone. Didn't even finish his yep. monologue by the time he destroyed his partner. <laughs> Bye, Merlin. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Uh. Best girl Merlin did not survive the games. Merlin's gonna end up being our Nobuo Kun, like in Doki Doki <laughs> Literature Club. Just, I'm just all for it. Just project all of our wishes and hopes for other characters onto this fictional character we've invented I, for ourselves. I am so all for it, dude. You get a husbando, I get a waifu. Hell yeah. Bam. Nobuo Merlin forever. <laughs> That's my OTP in all these anime <laughs> game Let's Plays. <laughs> they're, they may not be real, but their love is. <laughs> Wait, we can technically say original character do not steal. That's right. We came up with Merlin. You get out of here, yeah. Sega. You get out of here, Team Salvato. <laughs> Nobuo and Merlin forever. The fifth character at Doki Doki Literature Club. Merlin. Alright, kill her. Whoever wins this stupid, ridiculous one on one match between Sakura and the crazy girl wins the match because the president said so. And nobody has a problem with that. I was like, oh, okay. 
That seems uh, just a tad unfair. Like, there's, there's no outrage. Like, Sumeri is just, you know, she doesn't say anything about it. Nobody says anything about this. It's just how it is, and they're shocked to find out the president is evil. Oh, oops, sorry. I, oh. I mean, that would actually add to, like, me liking Sumire better if she heard that and she was like, oh, oh hell no, nah, and starts running up to the president's office to kick down the door. <sighs> so, yeah. Don't give up, Sakura. You can't be sad. If you're sad, then everything is bad. But the power of friendship shall conquer all. Just like our friendship together that we somehow made between Nobuo and Merlin. See, a lot of the, you know, I watch anime for really, really emotional moments. There are moments that stick with me for years afterwards. And this game doesn't have anything like that, because all they do, basically, is just yell at each other and go, You can't give up! You're better than that! You're great! We all love you! We're all behind you! We're all gonna give it our best! We're all never gonna give up! And we're all great! And they all go, yeah, and that's supposed to be our emotional moment. That just reeks of a sports anime arc, because that's primarily what a lot of them do. It's basically its own hype machine. Or, you know, downtrodden character, win it for the big game, you know, stuff like that. But uh, when you do it every single chapter, it loses its appeal. But because Sakura suddenly believes in herself... Somehow, the Obu becomes strong enough to be so what? fucking badass and hypercharged super powerful, <laughs> she has gone the mech version of Super Saiyan. Oh, excuse me? Okay, you were right from earlier. I called it, but it's stupid. Transcend your limits! Go even further beyond! Plus Ultra, baby. Actually, no. This is more akin to, like... Do you remember that episode of Teen Titans where Cyborg went above 100% threshold to beat that one guy? Yeah. That was fucking powerful. I still remember that. Meanwhile, so Lancelot's already slashed her head off. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Lancelot's not going to stand behind and let her monologue. Time to break our limits. One step shatters in the ground. <laughs> Yes, shatter all limits. The entire mech just falls to pieces. And I thought for a split second we were going to be taking it airborne, but no. Nope. Back to hacky slashy. Nothing's airborne. That's another disappointment I have. So, round two. Last a lot's not holding back, and neither am I. We got a beefed up set of moves, but I'm used to playing as Seijiro, so I hate playing as her. So, there we go. It's like, imagine playing as Seijiro, but you have less attacks, and they don't do as much, and you have less range. That's about what it's like to play as Sakura. Oh, and her, okay. defen her defense stinks, too. So that beef up, did that do anything? Okay, that move was kind of cool. It, it basically, uh, our, our uh, heavy attacks have, like, a ranged uh, version to them. You see that, the little sword slash I did there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, that hurts. It's pretty much like Lancelot's. Uh, the thing is, though, she, she does that sword move, and I try to hit her, I try to dodge it. But then she follows up again, and I get hit. I take both right in the face. I was just listening to Lancelot saying, Oh, you weren't that fast before. And moments later, I saw Sakura get fucking bodied. <laughs> just a couple <laughs> seconds later. It's just, you know, it's it's yeah. the difference between night and day. Hey, look at that. Imagine and that's that. it. We have a winner. That's yeah. it. Second round. We did it. Well, I, was, uh, but I, I tell you, viewers, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time.
I mean, I totally was, but that's because my room setup is terrible. Never have I played a more white knuckle game before. Not, not, not since beating Lord Gwyn in Dark Souls. <laughs> for the let's play or for your own playtime? <laughs> oh, oh, both combined can't reach okay. the heights of you know, Sakura overcoming her depression in Hatsuho's chapter. Uh, you know, I have a feeling Sakura is the type of teenager to constantly blame everything on having anxiety. No, she blames everybody else. Hey, Girl, just smoke a, a, smoke a bowl, a, you'll be fine. This game is ass. <laughs> ass! Uh, I'm dedicating way too much time to this project. Well, as soon as it's over, it'll be... Cathartic? I think that's the word I'm looking for. Way to go, Sakura! We had no input on what you did whatsoever! You're great! You're incredible! You did good too, Seijiro, even though you did most of the work, but yay, Sakura! It was not just the power of the mech suit, even though it was the mech suit, it was your power! Meshing with the power of the mech suit, which was so powerful because the mech suit couldn't be used by everybody because it was so powerful, you need to be really strong to use it. But yeah, it was all you, Sakura, it was all you. It's time to start a trending hashtag, f hashtag free Merlin, because I, I really want to see what design they had up their sleeve. We totally could have done it without her! We all did our part in my glorious moment! Well, I really hate this new interpretation of Power Rangers. <laughs> Instead of Super Sentai, it's Super Sakura. You know, I'm just looking over the list of Let's Plays that I've helped co-commentate, and I just realized, I think you might hate yourself. I was just looking at all the different quote-unquote bad games that we've done. And it all started with Ride to Hell Retribution. Ride to Hell is a different kind of bad. It's unique. Like, Ride to Hell is a cupped, cupped hand over mouth bad. Like, oh my god. This is head in my hands bad. But now bad things are gonna start happening. Mind control. It turns out Sakura's sword is the Imperial Key that Yaksha has been looking for. <gasps> what does that mean, UDJ? It means that Sakura is still our special little lady. Oh my god! You take that off. You oh no right Jesus, I forgot she was wearing that! <laughs> I looked away from the screen for a second, then came back and- Whoa! Gemini! That's what I told you two chapters ago! That's the most obvious so, decision! It took you until the last minute to figure it out?! What did we accomplish in this chapter? Sakura was sad, but now she's not sad, and now she doesn't really care about Sakura Shinguji. So I'm gonna be my own thing, but I'm still gonna talk about Sakura Shinguji all the time. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Did, didn't we, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, pick up the phone, because, uh, I um, believe we called it. You think you can bait her? God, it's like, it's like a breath of fresh air when something we've been saying this entire game actually, you know, shows up in the story. Yeah, but we figured this out, Be like... Be your own like, person. We figured it out, like, two hours ago, though. Yeah. Because she's Because she's a brainless dolt of a character. Her arc demanded that it wouldn't be until, like, the very end. Just, oh, no tension. There's there there no real drama behind it, really. Because you can tell exactly where it's going to go. So, uh, hey Sakura, how do you feel about being used as a tool of war? Did you ever get over that? That seemed to be a big point of contention for you. Oh yeah, I'm okay. As long as I have you, Kamiyama. Oh. 
<laughs> I can be a tool of war. Oh, I'll be the captain of the flower division, so I'll always protect you. That's my promise. Uh. And then he proceeded to push her into the water. And you kept that promise because we're destined to be together. Even if I didn't I think remember it. it. <sighs> I think I deserve a reward. Damn it! Nah. It's one promise I'll never break. I'll always be there for you. Shut up! It's like I've already locked in my ending. Oh, God! No! 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 Oh, uh, feel free to tap out if you want, man. I, I got the last three minutes. I can do it. <laughs> this shit is, like, right up my alley. Not saying I like it. I'm just more experienced with it. I just think my tastes are too mature for this. Uh, that's one way. You just like a specific genre, and this has clearly jumped out of it. You're more seinen than shonen. I will always tout seinen over shonen. I'll even take no, I'll, even, I'll even take Jose over this, where it turns out like Hatsu has been cutting herself and Clarice has been drinking and shit like that, and then they all like go out you know on a girls' night and feel good about one another, but then you know one of them turns out to leave anyway because it's what's best for him, and they all wish her well and all that, and the. See, I've been kind of hoping for a, a hidden dark side, but it hasn't happened yet. Yaksha is the dark side! Well, I want to play around with Yaksha! The only, way you can, here. the only way you can play around with Yaksha is in Koi Koi! Damn it! Wait, you can? Oh, yeah. Really? She's an opponent? Oboro, Yaksha, and the secret hidden final boss <gasps> are Koi Koi opponents. Oh! That's actually awesome. Are they difficult? Uh, well, not really. Because if you lose Koi Koi, you can like pay some, you pay some money, get a whole bunch of lives back, and they keep their amount. Oh. Okay. Well, Sakura you know, is good. Well, good. I think we're gonna have to play uh, Koi Koi in real life at one point. Not this version. We could probably play it on 51 Clubhouse games. Oh, no. Hey, look, it's our ending. Well, next time on Sakura Wars, it is time for Anastasia's chapter. Oh, good. We're also achieving towards the end of the game because the game is now starting to wrap up a little bit. We're getting Aww, the we're, I like get, that. we're getting the Christmas story. We're getting Anastasia's yes. story. And we're also going to learn some yes. deep dark, evil truths about our comrades. Yes! What will happen oh, now? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! She the... She the, uh... Oh, no! She what, the spy! What's gonna happen? We're gonna have to see next time on oh, Sakura yay. Wars! Oh, my God! Oh, oh, my goodness! That's pretty cool! Oh, well. <laughs> till next time, folks. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Ah! It's almost over, man. We almost got it.